my goodness. Well, there's changes coming to Hydra. Thank you if you checked out that last video. And, well, I'm going to do a video on a champion that I've been meaning to do a video on. He's been completed. His masteries have been done. He's been booked. And I've just been eyeballing him because, boy, I think there's some potential there, especially with the nerfs that are coming to Hydra. And in doing so, without further ado, no, it's not Geralt. It's known that she is very good at Hydra. Um, it is actually, I know, look, legendary magic. Ooh, where are we going with this? You're not going to expect it. Hello, who's this? His name is Holstering. His name is Holstering. And I'm going to go over his kit, and then we're going to do a Hydra run. And I'm not going to save the Hydra run because I actually have quite a few of these videos coming out. And it has to do with me showing people in Hydra essentially um so let's just get into it here holstering is one of the best looking champions in the game bar none he is essentially a spanish inquisition modeled person his whole kit revolves around like persecution of uh the banner lords and the knights revenant and uh, i really love this because the holy order is who the sacred order are uh they are just you know they're like i'm better than you i'm all about god's plan and you ain't about god's plan so we're about to get the gritty nitty gritty details out of you which i really do actually like this lore because knights rev characters right if we just go down to the index i know this is just not what you're really here for but just just stay just please stay god stay please hang out with me these dudes are from sacred order and from the banner lords that's their whole spiel right that's that's their whole thing and I love it, right? Because they are essentially the undead. But then you get to these other guys who didn't get to be so cool. And they're just undead. You know, they're they're ghouls and demons and bat... Not, not demons. They're ghouls and vampires. Like vampires. Where's Mashal? I still don't have a Mashal. Mashal, hopefully one day. Um, they're... This, this I mean, Necret really probably should have been a Knight's Rev, to be fair. Um, but then you have, like, Urast, which is based on one of the demons... Um, the demonic pets from wow for the warlock class tell me it ain't so you'll call your liar you know you have a banshee from morrigan you know you have rotos and you have siffy who are based on the corpse bride stuff right that's essentially what i'm taking it as you have a doll you have little miss annie the annie doll who got a buff and is very pretty good actually uh vlad i'm just always constantly impressed with also you know Sadly, knights were or, uh, the undead hordes don't count, but people from banner lords count, right? Boom, 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 and then people from knights revenant because these two, I mean, essentially banner lords and sacred order, when they die and they still have something they're holding on to, they come back to life right here as revenants. Very cool. But let's just get into it. I really like holstering, and uh, I have yet to try him in anything. I built him up because they they were gonna buff him. I was very excited about it. Um, so let's just go over his ability. It says A1, attacks an enemy two times. If the champion's under Veil or Perfect Veil, each hit has a 50% chance to decrease the target's turn meter by 15%. And it will also give him increased attack on the champ for two turns if this attack is critical. He's a damage dealer. You build him with 100% crit, right? That's how we do it. His A2, overthrow, right? Attacks an enemy three times, three turn cooldown. If the target's under Hex, each hit will ignore 25% of the target's defense. We'll ignore a further 25%. Of the target's defense they are also under a decreased speed debuff pretty good right we'll also ignore an additional 25 percent of the target's damage or i'm sorry ignore 20 percent of the target's defense if they are from the banner lords or knight revenants faction now where we're going this don't matter all right this really doesn't matter um we will get 50 percent with not even good rng just regular strategy out of his ignore defense okay his a3 witch finder Okay, four turn cooldown when booked, right? Each hit, 100% chance of placing Hex for three turns and 30% decrease speed for two turns. Champions from Banner Lords and Knight's Rev cannot resist this debuff, so you don't need accuracy. Each hit, also 100% chance to steal 25% of the target's turn meter. If the target is from Banner Lords or Knight Rev, steals 50% of the turn meter instead. And we'll also put a perfect veil on him for two turns. It's based on attack, okay? And then it's passive, Hunter's Guile. This champion attacks target under Hex, debuff, and decrease speed debuff, places a perfect veil on this champion for a turn. This effect will not activate when counterattacking, but this does not count for ally attack. Also increases his crit damage by 30% when attacking under a perfect veil buff. Okay. Masters are as such. 
We have him down to Helm Smasher. Because I'm also going to do a little bit of Arena with him. Because I think he's actually going to be pretty decent for Arena. Nothing crazy, not live Arena. Because I don't feel like putting Stone Skin on him and then freaking doing that whole the whole thing. Uh, but, you know, as usual, we start with Deadly Precision. Uh, and since he does bring debuffs, I did put him under Pinpoint Accuracy and whatnot. Brought him down to Laura Steel. Get a little bit of extra damage out of him for the sets that you put on him. Give him a little bit of Life Drinker. Help keep him alive. Bring him down to Helm Smasher. Just be smashing them Helms. Uh, because between putting him in lethal, which is 25% ignore defense, okay, plus his A2, which is 25, 25, that's 75% ignore defense, as long as they're under decreased speed and hex, and it's 50% with just that, and then we just kind of go down here and we look at this, it's 100% ignore defense when the stars align, all right, you following me here, it's a good time, that's all I'm saying, okay. Um, and as you can see, the sets I have them in, we have them in Zeal, two-piece, we have them in a four-piece lethal, and we have them in a two-piece slayer. Um, really don't, if you're going to put them in slayer, get them down to, uh, get them down to the six piece. You get 30%, uh, ignore defense when you get down to that. And you also, these don't count as AOEs. Okay. These, this one's at random, which I wish this was, and I wish this was fucking definitely not random. I, I really feel like this, this definitely should have just been, uh, at a person, right? Um, but yeah, as you can see, we don't even have the banner ascended, but we, and we're losing some speed on it. But we do get some crit damage out of it because we have the two piece. But this is my best attack banner I have for Banner Lord, or I'm sorry, Sacred Order. Uh, this actually, let's see if we can't lock. Ah, not lock. Well, maybe we can. We have a very good chance of actually hitting crit damage on this. There we are. Look at that. Uh, my clan leader is going to be very mad because I'm getting points because we hit 5.4 and we didn't want to go any higher let's see we just need to hit attack we didn't i'm doing this for the video don't do this at home kids oh god come on attack there we go nice okay i'll have to farm up some stuff tomorrow to get this maxed out but the stats are pretty insane other than the speed speed's pretty non-bow here uh hydra battles so he's at 247 speed 100 percent Crit rate, 321% crit damage. He's at 7,214 attack. He has a little bit of accuracy, but this is actually, believe it or not, pretty close to what you'll need for enough for Hydra. But again, we're not really going to be doing this. We're going to have other champions in the team that will place Hex and decrease speed. And we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, yeah, I'm actually very excited about this. Let's collect this quick. All right, so this is gonna be the team that I'm thinking about using for this little demonstration here. Let's get into the setup, okay? We're gonna have Nekmothar, why? Well, because he brings decreased speed and he brings leech. He brings increased speed, turn meter boost, okay? And he brings decreased attack. And he's got a little fun passive, right? Nekmothar, honestly, Hydra is his game. You can put him in Provoke, you can put him in Hex. You're gonna do great, okay? Chris, we're going to have him come in as the our uh, Provoke champion. He's going to be the also the Mischief Tank. He's going to bring in Provoke, increase defense on himself, and increase speed on everybody else. He's also going to bring Ally Protect and two continuous heal buffs on himself to give himself to be the target. Grand Oak Podridge, we're going to be using him for Ally Attack and Inspiring Rhythm. Holstering, uh, I think what we're going to do for Holstering um, is probably going to have to be Witchfinder first to keep the perfect veil up. All right, and then it's going to be his A2, okay? Now, I was really thinking I could probably just place him with, um, he'd really work well with Lady Makage. Oh, excuse me. Um, But, yeah. Duchess would be another one for Ols Ring. Uh, Ugo, this is my number two. She's just going to prioritize most from Whack. And then I have my Harima in here. And, uh, yeah. Harima going to do Harima things, okay? So this is actually rounding out to be a very good team. I did take Androk out because we're not going to need Androk for this. I do have Nekmo in a Hex set, by the way. So, fun time there. Now we're going to have to do increased speed and a turn meter boost here. All right. Turn meter boost. Bring in Hex. Leech. Got one Hex over here. Okay. We do not need to do that. So we will make ourselves the bait. And we got some more hexes out. Uh, I think we're going to go for you. The sucky thing is, 
this guy who you really do want to hit. Ooh, didn't even get to see the damage there. Like that guy you do want to hit. Uh, he's bad affinity right now for holstering. Okay. So we can get him off. Nope. Ooh, and he took him off holstering. Dirty bitch. All right. Nope. Okay, we're good. Reapply. Coming in. All right, well, let's kind of turn. Let's see if we can't see the damage here. I want to, since we're under perfect veil, let's try to get rid of this. Well, all right, so that's like 500,000 damage right there. That's pretty good. Okay. Boom, we got taunted. That's fine. Boom. Oh, nice. We got through the fear. I essentially refuse to like do a, a shamel in a team because I feel like it just it takes away from my own damage. I really do wish I had the tree. Okay, we're under perfect veil again. Let's slow it down. We're under increase. Just give us. I just gave us one, one buff. Crazy. All right, let's see how much damage a one does here. 116, 151,000. That's pretty good. Boom. Okay, and I actually think we can kill this guy, so let's have everybody beat him. Get in there. Yep, and he's gone, so then we don't have to worry about that. Karima comes in, doing some decent damage. Throw that down. Boom. Cleanse. Terminator boost. Now we got this. Let's slow it down again. Right here, there's decreased defense. There, on there is no decreased speed on them though. Boom. Did you see that? Five hundred sixty-seven thousand plus like four hundred, like, like top end four hundred thousand on the other two hits. That, that's pretty good actually. <laughs> that's really good. If he would have been under uh, decreased speed, we really would have been cooking. Really would have been cooking. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Do this. Put him under decreased speed now. Pulse ring. We'll do this. Let's slow it down again. I think we can get one target off on whoever we hit. Boom. 273,000. Okay, not bad. Uh, we'll do this. I kind of want to run it to the 50 turn mark. And then we'll just come back and then compare the damage between him and Harima. Now, obviously, Harima uh, is going to be doing more damage, I think, in this comparison. Let's do that again. Boom, boom. Hmm, about a million damage right there. Bring in. Now, of course, he's going to be better with crushing rend and stuff like that. Let's see the damage that we're going to do here with him. Yeah, 461, 381,000. Pretty good. Let's do this again. One. Oh, 1. 1.5 million. And that's not including the Phantom Touch and everything. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I really like this guy. I really like him. Um, Let's do this. Bring him over here. Okay. Increase speed. Decrease speed. And hex. See how much we do on this head. There's no hex on there, but. A1s are pretty good. 417,000. That's nothing to shake a stick at. All right. I'm going to take myself. Like, we're going to cut back when we get to the turn 50 mark. Okay. I'm just going to hit auto here. We'll be right back. All right, and here we are. Turn count 51, and it's kind of looking like Holstring is holding his own so far with Harima in this team. He's at 31 million damage. Harima's at 33 million damage. Um, it's it's very comparable. I'm actually very impressed. Uh, and I think we're not going to keep this because I have other champion guides I want to do. 
uh, this week for you guys, and I'm going to kind of just spread them out. I need to essentially sit down one day and just be like, well, I'm going to do all of this, um, all these guides. But yeah, Holstering, very good for Hydra. I think people should give him a fair shake. Let's go into regular arena. Just regular old arena. And I think, don't want that team. Let's go against, let's try this team. So, let's do this. Let's take you out. Let's get down to our two-star Awakened Champions. Where is he? I feel like I'm looking right at him. There we go. This team should suffice. Okay. Boost, boost, lockout. Uh, and probably going to have to open with that. And then uh, first choice should be that. Now, there's nobody on that team that we are having a big advantage with. But let's just kind of see where we're at. Uh, all right. Two stone skin. Another thing that kind of holds him back, too, is that he, re he doesn't have block revive. And that is a thing that... What? What? <laughs> What just happened? Holy shit. Um, he killed the Mithrala outright. She ended up, I think, taking two of the hits. Man. Um, yeah, let's go. He is doing a ton of damage here. What is going on? Push his turn meter back to zero. Okay, boom. And he also has that self-protection, too, because he's under a perfect veil. Um... Man, these two guys. Let's slow this down. We're not even going to need the three hits. He's about to disappear. 54. Okay. But yeah, I think if Holstering would have had like a block revive thing, which also would go with the lore for him, to be fair. Uh, we got to kill the Wukong. He did not get locked out. Um, Alright, let's see the Wukong. 60,000 right there, just with the increased attack. Let's see if we can't find a tank of the team. Okay, let's slow this down again. I actually love the animation that he sends shadows to attack people. Okay, only one of them got it, which is fine. It's a weak hit here, and he doesn't have accuracy. I'm going to throw that on you. Get that. Uh, let's take him out. I mean, just, he's gone. He disappears. Yeah, I really like this guy. He's really, and he's good for uh, Fire Knight as well. He just keeps pushing him back down. Honestly, you could go, um, not Soul Reap. What's that other one? It's harvest, Life Harvest. I think you could put Life Harvest on him, and you would do really well in Arena. <laughs> He just obliterated these guys. Hold up, let's try. No offense to that guy. Let's not that team. We will. He won't stand a chance. Um, there's no real damage there other than Shazar. I'm kind of looking for Knight's Rev. I mean, we well, it's Banner Lords actually. Uh, let's. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. I mean, he might. He's not a good Taras counter. If he had a passive that said his attack cannot can never be decreased, that would be, that would be something. Um, let's start you. His attack was decreased right there. I mean, and Lydia, Lydia was literally. I mean, he also he's a multi hitter, so he's gonna get around UDK because we're gonna do this. And that that Tarask is gone. He, he lives no more. He ceases to be. He is an ex Tarask, if you will. Uh, Tarask, not Tarask. I mean, but probably the same, to be fair. Let's do this. I'm sorry I'm sniffling and shit. I sound like a fucking dirtbag. I'm a little under the weather. Um, Let's see. Boom, boom. I mean, 41,000 without decreased defense is nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, so the whole point of this is we're just going to really outspeed them. Gives himself his own crit rate there. Or his own increased attack. 
thing quicken. Yeah, she'll lock out again. Yep. Okay. And then let's slow it down. They're all going for... Oh my god, they all went for Duchess. <laughs> oh, man. This guy is fun, man. I like him. I really do. Jeez, 68,000. Ah, uh, with no decreased defense. But, you know, and that's the thing. His kit builds into where if you have Hex, if you have decreased speed, he's going to he's gonna give you a little kiss on the forehead and say goodnight, you know? Uh, let's try this team here. We might die. Um, Actually, let's see. Throw it on auto. I ain't touching it. We're just going to see. Hands are here. Okay. Oh, there goes Brogny. Okay. Got Brimstone on him. He's about to delete somebody. Somebody's about to have a bad day. I think it's gonna be Wukong. Yep. Oh, Wukong kissed the pavement. American X style. That three percent chance Wukong survive. He just <laughs> he's like a schoolyard bully. <laughs> Every time Wukong gets up, he fucking pushes him down. And I think until we can get back to that, uh until that we get to the A3 and then Holy shit. I mean, there you go. <laughs> every time every time Wukong got up from the freaking uh every time he got up from the sandbox, he was like, No, you're down. Stay down. If you know what's good for you, fucking stay down. Uh this is pretty alright, we can do this. There's a couple here. Throw her on auto. I think we'll be alright. Another thing that he runs into that just isn't great is he I say that he just obliterated people. <laughs> There's no staying power because of stone skin and all that jazz. Like block revive, I think on his kit would just would push him right to the top. On his A2, block revive on that. Let's kill this guy. Um, we should be able to. We should. Yep, we're going to. These guys are about to have a bad day, and the day was bad for them. Holy moly! And now Georgia. He can't target him because he's under perfect veil. It doesn't even matter. I mean, we just do that. They have no reviver. I mean, we should be okay. Yeah. And let's just turn meter back. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and the game was bad. Armand's, man. Damn it. Damn it, Daniel. Yep. I mean, that's going to happen, though. That's an Armand's for you. That's just. Mm, let's try this team. Hmm. Trying to think. I mean, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, can't pull. Yeah, we'll take you out. Put you in. And we're going to boost. We're going to lock out. I mean, I don't think these guys have anything going on. Oh, I was hoping he was going to come along for the ride. He's, he's going to... Well, okay, he's going to set off that... Yep. But, I mean... There you go. It's on cooldown now, son. Another good ability on, or a good awakening on Pulse Ring would, and he's gone. Jesus. Uh, would probably be um, having Grest, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, he's just friggin' putting dudes to sleep, just laying them down for a little nappy nap. We lost because this fucking Armand is in stone skin. Um, this team, I think we can win. Yep. Turn meter boost. Lockout. Okay. Let's just push again. Okay. One speed. Fucking hit our minds. And oh my god. Yep. That happened. Okay, now we just do this.
Yeah, wow. I really like holstering. I, yeah, well, going against him in Curse City is scary. And I thought, man, I really should do a video on him. And a lot of content creators did revisit him after his buff. And they're like, he's good. He's very solid. You know, he just doesn't bring as much to the table as, like, everybody else does. But I think, you know, Hydra, he's going to shine in Hydra. And right now, I mean, he's he's shining in Arena. And now I know these aren't the most amazing teams, a lot of them. But they're not dumb. They're competent. And he is... Boy, he is giving him the business. He's giving him the Mr. Jim business right now, I would say. Yep. Boom. 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 Oh. Dirty. She didn't even have hex or decrease speed on. I didn't I don't think. Um sorry, Choco Boom if you're I'm I'm fucking we're getting this guy again. Fuck this dude. Fuck this dude. Push. Lock it. Thank you. Boom. Wasn't big enough turn meter boost. Stop hitting my guy. Oh my god. Okay, I have to take this over. Fuck me. Are you shitting my ass right now? Uh, give me that one. I'm fucking killing this guy. I am. This is. I'm, I'm not letting this happen. Okay, we're gonna be fine. You can keep sleeping. Yep. Oh my god, the second hit hit way harder. Yep. All right, Holster, I can give her a little kiss goodnight, buddy. Mooch. Fuck you, dude. All right, there you go. I'm loving it. Um, You know, let's try to put a little Fire Knight team together for him. Can we put him... I mean, we can definitely do hard with him, but I don't know if it's going to be very good. Not that team, I'll tell you that. Uh, nope. Fire Knight hard. So it's, you look at this and you're like, well, who would you replace? Honestly. Hmm. It's like, do I replace Neldor? Even though Neldor brings, like... You look at Neldor. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I know he would just destroy the Fire Knight. Um, but I really can't use them in Fire Knight hard right now. I just don't have the time. And I'm not supposed to be getting any more points. Oh yeah, we're gonna get in trouble. That's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you for turning into Holstering. Definitely, let's just like rate him real quick here. Let's go recently used first. I love this guy. Now again, I do have amazing gear on him. So do keep that in mind. Um, I wish this chest piece had speed, but you know. Boom, speed with attack. I mean, just good rolls. We have him in zeal as well. This, yeah, yeah this, these gauntlets are too good. Good, you know, this, that. I mean, we could even get more damage out of him. Uh, we could push him up over 300% crit damage with that. And this one, I mean, let's just look here. Yeah, resistance. That's a bummer, but it's going to happen, you know. But let's go ahead. I want to rate Holstering because, as you can see, he has had a bad rap for a long time. But Fire Knight, that's what he's for. Campaign locations, 5. Arena offense, 5. Faction Wars, he's definitely a 5. Uh, Demon Lord Clan Boss, I would say 4. Okay, Hydra, he's a 5. Easy. Arena defense, you'd have to put him in stone skin, but I think 4. Uh, Minotaur's Labyrinth, definitely a 5. We could actually run him through there and see. I bet you he can clear the whole thing. Magic Keep, Ice Golem, Dragon's Lair. I bet you we could do that. Spider's Den, actually probably pretty good. Void, 4. Force Keep, uh, probably a 1. Bad Affinity. Iron Twins, okay. Uh, Sand Devil, no. 
And Phantom Shogun, actually. It'd just be okay, you know? That's just how it is. Boom. Yeah, Holstering has a lot to, like, bring to the table, to be honest. Let's grab that. Grab that. Yeah, he's going to be great. Here, not so much in Ice Golem. He'll proc that, but he'll do too much damage. Minotaur, though, I bet you he can solo Minotaur. Let me... We already did Freya. There'll be a video coming on Freya uh, in a couple days. I'm going to have to record that one tomorrow. Let's sort this by recently used first. Let's put Holes Ring in. Who needs Masteries? Hmm. I think he does, actually. Yep, we'll be fine. keep seeing the clan leader's message stop getting cvc points but i think holstering can really just honestly his a his a3 should have just been an aoe really should have just been an aoe boy he that thing hits hard boom Whew. i mean yeah 29 seconds but yeah that's gonna be it for tonight again i know another fake out thanks for coming in we'll catch you guys next time please uh, comment down below. Who do you want to see a video on? If I have the champion, I will definitely, definitely be doing the video for you. All right. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.